Today's simple recipe is easy cheese twist with puff pastry. Now to keep this recipe nice and easy, we're gonna be using shop-bought puff pastry. If you wanna go adventurous, make your own puff pastry, you're gonna get better results. I've got here two sheets of puff pastry ready rolled. I usually go for blocks of puff pastry because you're gonna get better value for money. But in this situation, that's what we found in the shops. So 330 grams each. Now, before you start doing anything else, make sure that your oven is set at 200 degrees Celsius or about 400 Fahrenheit. In terms of cheese, we're gonna be using a combination of mild cheddar, about 100 grams, combined with 100 grams of grated Parmesan. And in order to keep it nice and simple, I also wanna add over the cheese, the seasoning or the spices, which can be whichever you prefer. But in this situation, I've got here a good teaspoon of dry oregano, and also a half teaspoon of smoked paprika. And now you wanna mix everything together until well combined. For the egg wash, which really helps kind of like sticking everything together, and not just that, it gives a nice color to the puff pastry once you're getting into the oven, I'm using one egg and just a dash of cold water. And using a pastry brush, spread a thin layer of egg wash over your puff pastry. Now let's get the cheese on, but I'm only adding it on one side because I wanna fold the other side over. Take this part and fold it over the part with the cheese and press it. And now using a pastry cutter, we're gonna go in about one centimeter thickness. Twist in opposite direction. And once you're done, press slightly at the edges so it stays in shape. Move your cheese twist into the baking tray, but just make sure that you leave some space in between because this will grow whilst baking. And before getting them into the oven, it's quite important to add another thin layer of egg wash on top because these will get them nice and golden in color together with just a sprinkle of sea salt. Now we're gonna get them into the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. I would say check after 20, see if the color looks right. If it gets golden to golden brown in color, most likely they are done. So 20 minutes has done the job perfectly. I really hope that you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more simple recipes like this.